Before we dive into our story, a quick note from us at Woo English. We're here to help you learn English through storytelling, using clear and simple sentences. If you enjoy our stories and find them helpful, please let us know by writing a comment below and hitting the like button. Your likes and comments motivate us to create more content for you. Now, let's begin our story. Chapter 1 A Young Girl Named Eleanor In the bustling world of New York City, in the year 1884, a young girl named Eleanor Roosevelt was born into a life of privilege, but not without its shadows. Eleanor's family was well known, with a history that tied them to the very beginnings of American society. Yet, behind the grand doors of their home, Eleanor faced challenges that would shape her into the woman she was destined to become. From a young age, Eleanor realized she was different from the other children in her circle. While her family attended glamorous parties and social events, Eleanor felt more at home in the quiet corners of libraries. Her mind always curious, always hungry for knowledge. Her mother, beautiful and graceful, was the picture of societal perfection, but often found Eleanor's serious nature and plain looks disappointing, a sentiment she did not hide from her daughter. Eleanor's father, in contrast, was a bright spot in her young life. He was a man of charm and charisma, a loving father who saw Eleanor's potential. However, his struggles with alcohol and his absence due to various treatments cast a long shadow over her childhood, leaving Eleanor to navigate the complexities of her family's expectations and the longing for her father's presence. Tragedy struck early in Eleanor's life. By the age of ten, she had lost both her beloved father and her mother. The loss was a profound blow, leaving Eleanor and her two younger brothers to be raised by their strict and distant grandmother. The grand house of her grandparents in Tivoli, New York, became Eleanor's new world, a place far removed from the warmth and love she had known. Life at her grandmother's was governed by rules and expectations. Eleanor, with her independent spirit, often found herself at odds with the strict regime. Her education, however, became her refuge. Eleanor was a diligent student, her thirst for knowledge and her love for reading growing with each passing day. It was during these formative years that Eleanor began to develop a sense of compassion for those less fortunate, a trait that would define her later life. Despite the privileges of her family background, Eleanor could not escape the feeling of being an outsider. Her appearance and serious demeanor often made her the subject of ridicule among her peers, leading to a deep sense of insecurity. Yet it was these very challenges that began to forge Eleanor's character, teaching her empathy, resilience, and the value of inner strength. As Eleanor grew older, she became acutely aware of the world beyond her grandmother's estate. The stark differences between her life of privilege and the struggles of those around her sparked a desire to make a difference. Eleanor started volunteering in the poor neighborhoods of New York, her eyes opening to the realities of poverty and injustice. These experiences sowed the seeds of her lifelong commitment to social reform and justice. At the age of 15, Eleanor's life took a significant turn. She was sent to Allenswood Academy in England, a school that would change the course of her life. Under the guidance of Marie Souvestre, the headmistress who recognized and nurtured Eleanor's potential, Eleanor began to find her voice. Souvestre encouraged her to think critically to engage with the world's problems, and to believe in her ability to effect change. 
It was a transformative time for Eleanor, a period of growth and self-discovery that laid the foundation for her future. As Eleanor's time at Allenswood came to an end, she returned to America with a new sense of purpose. The young girl who had felt so out of place in her early years was emerging as a young woman with a clear vision for her life. Eleanor was determined to use her voice and her position to make a difference in the world. Yet, the expectations of her society and family awaited her return, ready to remind her of the traditional role she was expected to play. As Eleanor stepped back into the world of New York society, she was faced with a choice. Would she conform to the expectations of her class and time, or would she forge her own path, guided by the lessons of her past and her vision for the future? The young girl named Eleanor, once overshadowed by the weight of her family name and the challenges of her upbringing, was on the brink of a journey that would lead her to become one of the most influential figures of her time. Her story, marked by personal loss, resilience, and an unwavering commitment to justice, was just beginning. Chapter 2 School Days in England In the heart of the English countryside, far from the bustling streets of New York where she was born, Eleanor Roosevelt embarked on a journey that would shape the course of her life. It was the autumn of 1899, and Eleanor, a young girl of just 15, found herself at the gates of Allenswood Academy. This was not just any school, but a place that promised to turn timid girls into confident young women, knowledgeable about the world and their place in it. Eleanor's arrival at Allenswood marked a new chapter in her life, one filled with both excitement and apprehension. She was no longer in the shadow of her family's expectations, or the sadness that lingered from her mother's untimely death. Here, in this new setting, Eleanor had the chance to redefine herself. Allen's Wood Academy was led by a remarkable woman, Mademoiselle Marie Souvestre, who saw in Eleanor something that perhaps Eleanor had not yet seen in herself. Mademoiselle Souvestre was not just a headmistress. She was a mentor and a guide, keen on awakening her students to the broader issues of the world. Under her tutelage, Eleanor began to flourish. The shy, withdrawn girl started to engage passionately with her studies, particularly in history and literature, subjects that allowed her to explore different perspectives and ideas. One of the most transformative aspects of Eleanor's time at Allenswood was the encouragement she received to think independently. Mademoiselle Souvestre would often take her students on educational trips across Europe. These journeys were not merely academic excursions, but adventures that opened Eleanor's eyes to the vastness and diversity of the human experience. From the art-filled halls of Parisian museums to the historic sites of Italy, Eleanor's worldview expanded exponentially. It was during these formative years at Allenswood that Eleanor's sense of social justice began to take root. Mademoiselle Souvestre's discussions on poverty, inequality, and women's rights resonated deeply with Eleanor, planting seeds of advocacy that would later define her public life. These conversations, often held around a crackling fire in the evenings, challenged Eleanor to consider her role in addressing societal issues. Eleanor's classmates, too, played a crucial role in her development. Coming from various backgrounds, they brought with them different perspectives, enriching the tapestry of Eleanor's educational experience. Friendships were formed, built on mutual respect and the shared journey of learning and self-discovery. Among these friends, Eleanor found companionship and a sense of belonging that she had longed for. Yet it was not all smooth sailing. 
Eleanor faced challenges and moments of self-doubt, as all young people do. The rigorous academic environment, coupled with the expectation to assert herself in discussions, initially daunted her. However, these challenges only served to strengthen her resolve. Eleanor learned to voice her opinions with conviction, a skill that would later become one of her greatest assets. As the years at Allenswood Academy passed, Eleanor transformed. The timid girl who had once hesitated to speak her mind was now a young woman with a strong sense of self and a deep commitment to justice and equality. Her experiences at Allenswood had not only educated her in the traditional sense, but had also ignited a passion for social reform and advocacy. When it was time to leave Allenswood and return to New York, Eleanor carried with her more than just the memories of her schooling. She brought back a new perspective on the world and her place within it. The lessons learned and the confidence gained at Allenswood Academy would guide her as she stepped into the complex world of American society and politics. Eleanor's time in England was more than just an educational journey. It was a pivotal period that shaped her into the woman she would become. It taught her the value of independent thought, the importance of empathy, and the power of education to change lives. As Eleanor stepped off the boat and back onto American soil, she was no longer just a young girl named Eleanor. She was Eleanor Roosevelt, a young woman ready to make her mark on the world, armed with education compassion, and a formidable spirit that would one day inspire millions. Chapter 3 Entry into New York Society Eleanor Roosevelt returned to America from England, a young woman transformed. The shy and reserved girl had blossomed into a more confident and independent individual, carrying the lessons and experiences from her days at Allenswood Academy. Yet, the society she came back to held expectations and traditions that clashed with her newfound perspectives. The New York society of the early 20th century was a whirlwind of opulence and privilege. It was a world where social status dictated one's place and where women, in particular, were expected to follow a certain path. Marriage, above all, was seen as the ultimate goal for women, a means to secure their status and future. It was into this world that Eleanor stepped, carrying with her a sense of purpose and a desire to make a difference that went beyond societal norms. Franklin D. Roosevelt, Eleanor's distant cousin, became an integral part of her life during this period. Their relationship blossomed amid the backdrop of New York's high society, and their engagement was the talk of the town. Franklin was a charming and ambitious young man, whose aspirations and demeanor matched the expectations of the society they belonged to. Eleanor, on the other hand, while accustomed to the same social circles, carried with her the seeds of change planted during her education in England. Their marriage was a grand affair, fitting the stature and expectations of their families and society. It was attended by figures of significance, including then-President Theodore Roosevelt, who was Eleanor's uncle. This union marked Eleanor's formal entry into New York society, not just as a member of a prominent family, but as the wife of a man many saw destined for greatness. However, beneath the surface of this seemingly perfect integration into society lay a struggle. Eleanor found herself navigating a complex world of expectations and roles that often conflicted with her own values and aspirations. The role of a society woman, with its focus on social engagements and appearances, felt restrictive to someone who yearned for a more meaningful contribution to the world. Franklin's political career began to take shape, drawing them further into the public eye. Eleanor supported her husband, playing the role expected of her, 
yet she sought more. She grappled with the contrast between the societal expectations of her as a woman, wife, and mother, and her desire to engage with the world in a more impactful way. The birth of their children brought joy and purpose to Eleanor's life, but it also introduced new challenges. She juggled her responsibilities as a mother, with her social duties and her growing interest in political and social issues. The constraints of her societal role often clashed with her personal ambitions, creating a tension that Eleanor worked tirelessly to navigate. Amid this, Eleanor began to carve out a space for herself. She engaged in social work, connecting with communities and individuals outside the gilded world of New York society. These experiences exposed her to realities far removed from her own life of privilege, deepening her understanding of the societal inequalities that she would later dedicate herself to addressing. Her relationship with Franklin, too, was evolving. As his political career advanced, Eleanor found herself increasingly involved in political discussions and activities. This period saw the beginning of her transformation into a political partner, a role that would define much of her later life. Yet, this was not without its challenges. The expectations of her as a political wife were yet another societal role she had to navigate, balancing her public duties with her personal beliefs and aspirations. The contrast between Eleanor's personal values and the expectations of New York society became a recurring theme in her life during this period. She was part of a world that prized conformity and tradition, yet she harbored aspirations and beliefs that often pushed against these boundaries. Her marriage to Franklin, while bringing her into the heart of New York society, also provided her with a platform to begin exploring and asserting her own identity and beliefs. This chapter of Eleanor's life was a period of transition, of balancing the demands of society with her own desires for personal growth and impact. It was a time of learning, of understanding the complexities of the world she lived in, and of beginning to find her own voice amid the cacophony of societal expectations. Her entry into New York society was not just a return to her roots, but the start of a journey that would see her emerge as a figure of significant influence, driven by a conviction to make a difference in the world. Chapter 4 A Family of Her Own Eleanor Roosevelt stepped into a new chapter of her life when she became a mother and wife. This period brought her joys she had never known, but also struggles that tested her strength and resilience. Balancing family life with her personal development would become one of her greatest challenges. Eleanor and Franklin D. Roosevelt welcomed their first child, a daughter, into the world with joy and anticipation the birth of Anna. Eleanor Roosevelt marked the beginning of their journey as parents. For Eleanor, motherhood was a role filled with love and responsibility. She was determined to provide a nurturing environment for her children, something she felt was missing from her own childhood. However, the joys of motherhood were accompanied by the demands of family life. Eleanor and Franklin went on to have five more children, filling their home with the laughter and chaos of a large family. With each addition, Eleanor's responsibilities grew, leaving her with little time for personal pursuits. Her days were filled with caring for her children, managing household affairs, and supporting Franklin's burgeoning political career. The role of a political wife was another layer of complexity in Eleanor's life. She was expected to host gatherings, attend social events, and represent her husband in New York society. These expectations often clashed with Eleanor's personal values. 
She preferred meaningful engagement over superficial socializing and longed to make a difference in the world beyond the confines of her domestic life. Eleanor's struggle to balance family life with her own personal development was evident. She began to seek outlets for her interests and passions. Education and social reform became areas where she felt she could contribute meaningfully. Eleanor started to get involved in charity work and joined the Women's Trade Union League, advocating for workers' rights and women's equality. These activities gave her a sense of purpose and fulfillment that was distinct from her roles as a wife and mother. Despite her growing involvement in social causes, Eleanor faced criticism and skepticism from society and even from her own family. The expectations for women of her status were clear. Their primary focus should be on their family and home. Eleanor's foray into public affairs was seen as unconventional and by some inappropriate. However, she remained undeterred, driven by a belief in the importance of her work and the need to find her own voice. Franklin's illness in 1921 was a turning point for Eleanor. He was stricken with polio, which left him paralyzed from the waist down. This crisis brought the family closer together, but it also placed additional strain on Eleanor. She became Franklin's primary caregiver, a role that required immense strength and dedication. At the same time, she had to ensure the well-being of their children and maintain stability in their household. The experience of caring for Franklin during his illness had a profound impact on Eleanor. It taught her resilience and deepened her empathy for those facing adversity. Her involvement in Franklin's rehabilitation and her efforts to encourage him not to give up on his political aspirations demonstrated her unwavering support and partnership. As Franklin's political career advanced, Eleanor's role evolved. She became an active participant in his campaigns, utilizing her intelligence and social skills to engage with voters and advocate for his policies. Her experience in public affairs and her commitment to social justice issues enriched Franklin's political platform and broadened his appeal. Eleanor's journey as a mother, wife, and political partner was marked by highs and lows. The challenges of balancing family life with her personal development and public engagement were significant. Yet, these experiences shaped her into a formidable figure, capable of great compassion, leadership, and influence. Through her struggles and joys, Eleanor Roosevelt redefined the role of a political wife and mother. She demonstrated that it was possible to nurture a family, support a spouse, and pursue personal aspirations simultaneously. Her life as a mother and wife laid the foundation for her future achievements and her legacy as a champion for human rights and social justice. Eleanor Roosevelt's story is a testament to the strength and resilience of women who navigate the complexities of family life and personal development. Her ability to balance these aspects of her life, while also making significant contributions to society, serves as an inspiration to many. Eleanor's journey reminds us that personal fulfillment and public service can go hand in hand, shaping a legacy that transcends the boundaries of traditional roles. Chapter 5. The Political Arena Eleanor Roosevelt's entry into the political arena marked a significant chapter in her life. It was a period of growth, discovery, and challenges as she navigated her role alongside her husband, Franklin D. Roosevelt, whose political career was on the rise. This chapter explores Eleanor's evolving participation in politics, her growing interest in social issues, and her emerging identity as a political figure in her own right. As Franklin's political career advanced, Eleanor found herself in a world that was both exciting and 
daunting. Initially, her involvement was traditional, supporting her husband behind the scenes. She attended events, hosted gatherings, and engaged in the social duties expected of a politician's wife. However, Eleanor's view of her role in politics began to change as she encountered the realities faced by many Americans. The turning point came with Franklin's appointment as Assistant Secretary of the Navy. The family moved to Washington, D.C., where Eleanor was exposed to the broader implications of political decisions and the impact they had on people's lives. This experience awakened in her a deep sense of responsibility and a desire to contribute more meaningfully to society. Eleanor began to step out of her husband's shadow, driven by her convictions and a growing understanding of social issues. The plate of the poor, the struggle for women's rights, and the conditions of working families moved her deeply. She saw the political arena not just as a space for power and decision-making, but as a platform to advocate for change and justice. Her transformation was not without its challenges. Eleanor faced criticism for overstepping her traditional role and encountered resistance from some of Franklin's advisors, who viewed her activism as a potential liability. However, Eleanor's commitment to her values and her belief in the power of political engagement to enact positive change were unwavering. Eleanor's growing influence became evident during Franklin's campaign for the presidency. She was no longer merely a supportive spouse. She was a political partner, engaging with voters, delivering speeches, and championing the issues she cared about. Her ability to connect with people, her empathy for their struggles, and her articulation of her husband's policies endeared her to many Americans. Eleanor's role during the campaign was groundbreaking. She traveled extensively, sometimes independently of Franklin, meeting with citizens, listening to their concerns, and advocating for solutions. Her efforts not only contributed to Franklin's electoral success, but also marked a significant shift in the role of the First Lady. Eleanor redefined what it meant to be the spouse of a political leader, using her position to influence policy and public opinion. As First Lady, Eleanor's engagement in the political arena deepened. She used her platform to highlight social issues, champion civil rights, and advocate for the underprivileged. She held press conferences, wrote a daily newspaper column, and spoke out on behalf of those who were often ignored by the political establishment. Eleanor's involvement in politics was not without its personal costs. It required her to navigate complex relationships, endure public scrutiny, and sometimes face opposition from her husband's colleagues. Yet, her perseverance and dedication to her beliefs were unwavering. Eleanor Roosevelt's foray into the political arena was a journey of transformation. It was a period in which she found her voice, embraced her power to effect change, and faced the challenges of political life with resilience and determination. Her contributions to Franklin's campaigns and her own activism laid the groundwork for her legacy as a political figure who transcended the traditional role of First Lady. Through her involvement in politics, Eleanor demonstrated that it was possible to balance personal convictions with public responsibilities. She showed that the political arena could be a space for advocacy, compassion, and the pursuit of justice. Her story is a testament to the impact one individual can have on society through political engagement and a commitment to social issues. Eleanor Roosevelt's journey in the political arena is a reminder of the potential for growth and influence that lies within each of us. It challenges us to consider our own roles in the political and social spheres and to recognize the power of individual action to contribute to the greater good. 
Her legacy encourages us to engage with the world around us, to advocate for change, and to stand up for what we believe in, even in the face of adversity. Chapter 6 The First Lady of Change Eleanor Roosevelt's tenure as the First Lady was not just a role she stepped into. It was a platform she transformed. Her approach was unconventional, driven by a deep commitment to civil rights, women's rights, and social reforms. This chapter delves into how Eleanor redefined the position of the First Lady, making it a force for change in American society. Upon Franklin D. Roosevelt's election as president, Eleanor faced a choice, to be a traditional First Lady or to use her position to advocate for the causes she believed in. She chose the latter, embarking on a journey that would not only change her life, but also leave a lasting impact on American society. Eleanor's approach to her role was innovative. She held regular press conferences, something no First Lady had done before. These were not just any press conferences, Eleanor insisted that only female reporters could attend, thereby promoting the role of women in journalism at a time when they were often sidelined. Her advocacy didn't stop there. Eleanor used her platform to highlight the struggles of the American people during the Great Depression. She travelled across the country, visiting coal mines, rural homesteads and urban settlements. She listened to the stories of the people, bringing their concerns directly to the president. Her trips were more than ceremonial visits. They were missions to understand the nation's challenges and to be an advocate for change. Eleanor's commitment to civil rights was groundbreaking. At a time when segregation was the norm, she stood against racial discrimination. Perhaps one of the most notable moments of her advocacy was her resignation from the Daughters of the American Revolution, D.A.R., when they refused to allow Marian Anderson, a black singer, to perform in their hall. Eleanor then helped organize a concert at the Lincoln Memorial, where Anderson performed to a crowd of thousands, marking a significant moment in the fight against racial segregation. Eleanor also played a crucial role in advancing women's rights. She supported working women, championed equal pay, and advocated for greater participation of women in politics. Her actions inspired many women to take up leadership roles and advocate for their rights, laying the groundwork for future movements. Her work extended to social reforms as well. Eleanor was a staunch advocate for the New Deal a series of programs and projects instituted during the Great Depression to restore prosperity to Americans. She pushed for the inclusion of more social welfare programs and worked to ensure that the New Deal addressed the needs of the most vulnerable. Eleanor's relationship with the media was another aspect of her transformative role. She understood the power of communication and used her newspaper column, My Day, to speak directly to the American people. Through her writings, she discussed social issues, shared her views on policy, and advocated for change, all while maintaining a personal connection with her readers. Eleanor's tenure as First Lady was not without its challenges. Her activism and unconventional approach often attracted criticism. Some accused her of overstepping her role, while others disapproved of her outspokenness on contentious issues. Despite the criticism, Eleanor remained undeterred, guided by her principles and a belief in the possibility of change. Eleanor Roosevelt's impact as the First Lady was profound. She changed the perception of the role, showing that it could be a platform for advocacy and reform. Her efforts in civil rights, women's rights, and social reforms not only contributed to significant changes in her time, but also laid the foundation for future generations to build upon. 
The legacy of Eleanor Roosevelt as the first lady of change is a testament to her courage, empathy, and unwavering commitment to making the world a better place. She showed that with determination and compassion. It is possible to challenge the status quo and make a lasting difference. Eleanor's life as the First Lady reminds us of the power of individual action and the impact one person can have on society. Through her actions, Eleanor Roosevelt transformed the role of the First Lady into a position of influence and advocacy. She demonstrated that leadership is not just about holding a position of power, but about using that power to effect change. Her legacy as the First Lady of Change continues to inspire those who seek to make a difference in the world, reminding us of the importance of standing up for what we believe in and fighting for a more just and equitable society. Chapter 7 Voice of the Marginalized Eleanor Roosevelt became a beacon of hope for many who felt unheard and unseen. As the First Lady and beyond, she used her influence to amplify the concerns of the marginalized and disenfranchised, tirelessly working to bring their struggles to the forefront of national consciousness. Eleanor's commitment to civil rights was profound. She believed deeply in equality and justice for all Americans, regardless of race, gender, or economic status. Her efforts to combat discrimination and promote civil rights were both bold and controversial for her time, reflecting her unwavering dedication to social justice. One of the most significant aspects of Eleanor's work was her involvement with civil rights organizations. She joined forces with leaders like Walter White of the NWACP and Mary McLeod Bethune, founder of the National Council of Negro Women. Eleanor didn't just offer her name or her husband's influence, she actively participated in meetings, strategized with leaders, and spoke at events. Her support lent a powerful voice to the movement, drawing national attention to the fight against racial discrimination. Eleanor's stance against discrimination was not limited to African Americans. She also advocated for the rights of other marginalized groups, including the poor, refugees, and workers. She pushed for government action to address poverty and unemployment, championed the rights of workers to organize, and called for the U.S. to open its doors to refugees fleeing persecution. Perhaps one of Eleanor's most daring acts was her challenge to segregation, a deeply entrenched system of racial discrimination in the United States. Her refusal to accept segregated seating at a conference in Birmingham, Alabama, is legendary. Eleanor placed her chair in the aisle, between the sections for black and white attendees, symbolizing her rejection of segregation. This act, though simple, was a powerful statement against the injustice of segregation and highlighted her commitment to racial equality. Eleanor's advocacy extended to her writings. In her newspaper column, My Day, she often addressed issues of injustice and inequality. She used her platform to shed light on the struggles of the marginalized, criticize unfair policies, and call for change. Her words reached millions of Americans, educating them about the realities of discrimination and rallying support for civil rights. Eleanor's work with the United Nations after World War II further amplified her efforts to fight discrimination on a global scale. As a delegate to the UN and the chair of the committee that drafted the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, Eleanor worked to enshrine the principles of equality and justice in international law. Her leadership in the drafting of the Declaration was a testament to her belief in the inherent dignity and rights of every human being, regardless of nationality, race, or religion. 
Eleanor Roosevelt's role as a voice for the marginalized was not without its challenges. She faced criticism and opposition from those who disagreed with her views or feared the changes she advocated. Yet, she remained undaunted, driven by a profound sense of justice and a belief in the power of compassion and understanding to overcome prejudice and discrimination. Eleanor's legacy as an advocate for the marginalized is a powerful reminder of the impact one person can have in the fight for equality and justice. Her actions and her words continue to inspire those who work to dismantle systems of discrimination and to build a more inclusive and equitable society. Through her tireless efforts to amplify the concerns of the marginalized and disenfranchised, Eleanor Roosevelt demonstrated the importance of standing up for what is right, even in the face of opposition. She showed that empathy, courage, and persistence can bring about meaningful change, and that each of us has a role to play in creating a fairer, more just world. Eleanor Roosevelt's journey as a voice for the marginalized teaches us that change is possible when we are willing to listen, learn, and act. Her example challenges us to look beyond our own experiences, to recognize the humanity in all people, and to work together to address the inequalities that divide us. In doing so, we honor Eleanor's legacy and contribute to the ongoing struggle for a better, more just world for everyone. Chapter 8. Wartime Contributions As World War II engulfed the world, Eleanor Roosevelt's role took on a new dimension. Her contributions during these challenging times highlighted her dedication not only to her country, but to the well-being of individuals affected by the war. This chapter explores Eleanor's extensive efforts to support soldiers, her diplomatic missions, and her influence on policies regarding refugees and victims of war. When the United States entered World War II, Eleanor saw an immediate need to boost the morale of both the troops and the nation. She understood that the war was not just fought on battlefields abroad, but also on the home front, through the hearts and spirits of the American people. Eleanor took it upon herself to be a bridge between the two, ensuring that the voices of the soldiers were heard and that their welfare was prioritized. One of Eleanor's first initiatives was to visit American troops stationed overseas. She traveled to the South Pacific, braving difficult conditions to meet with soldiers, nurses, and wounded servicemen. Her visits were more than symbolic gestures. They were acts of genuine concern and solidarity. She listened to the stories of the soldiers, shared their letters with the president, and upon her return, spoke to the public about the realities of war and the bravery of those fighting it. Eleanor's impact extended beyond the American forces. She was deeply involved in addressing the plight of refugees and victims of war. Her compassion for those displaced by conflict led her to advocate for more inclusive and compassionate refugee policies. She worked tirelessly with international organizations and the U.S. government, urging them to provide aid and sanctuary to those fleeing persecution. Her advocacy was instrumental in shaping the government's approach to war refugees. Eleanor pushed for the creation of policies that would not only offer refuge to those in need, but also integrate them into American society. Her efforts were grounded in a belief that America's strength came from its diversity and its willingness to open its doors to those in search of freedom and safety. Eleanor's role during the war also included significant diplomatic missions. She represented the United States at critical international meetings, 
advocating for peace and cooperation among nations. Her diplomatic skills were evident in her ability to navigate complex political landscapes, build alliances, and foster understanding among diverse groups. One of Eleanor's most notable diplomatic endeavors was her visit to Great Britain, where she met with military leaders, government officials, and the British royal family. Her presence underscored the strong alliance between the United States and Britain, bolstering the spirits of both nations. Eleanor's ability to connect with people from all walks of life, from heads of state to ordinary citizens, was a testament to her diplomatic acumen and her commitment to the cause of peace. Eleanor's wartime contributions went beyond diplomacy and morale-boosting visits. She was a vocal advocate for civil rights and equality, even in times of war. She challenged segregation in the armed forces and worked to ensure that all soldiers, regardless of race, were treated with respect and dignity. Her stance against discrimination within the military was a reflection of her broader fight for civil rights and her belief in the principles of freedom and equality for which the war was being fought. Throughout World War II, Eleanor Roosevelt exemplified leadership, compassion, and a relentless drive to make a difference in the lives of those affected by the conflict. Her visits to troops, diplomatic missions, and advocacy for refugees and marginalized groups showcased her multifaceted contributions to the war effort. She was not just the First Lady of the United States. She was a global figure of hope and resilience standing alongside those in the darkest of times. Eleanor's wartime efforts left a lasting legacy. They highlighted the critical role of compassion and human connection in times of crisis. Her work with soldiers, refugees and victims of war demonstrated the power of empathy to bridge divides and build a better, more inclusive world. Eleanor's contributions during World War II remind us of the importance of standing up for our values, supporting those in need, and working tirelessly for peace and justice. As the war came to an end, Eleanor's focus on the well-being of individuals and her advocacy for a just and peaceful world continued to shape her endeavors. Her wartime contributions were not merely acts of duty, they were expressions of her deepest convictions and a reflection of her unwavering commitment to humanity. Through her actions, Eleanor Roosevelt not only supported the war effort, but also laid the foundation for a more compassionate and equitable post-war world. Chapter 9 The United Nations and Human Rights After the turmoil of World War II, the world sought ways to ensure peace and prevent the recurrence of such devastating conflicts. Eleanor Roosevelt, with her deep commitment to peace and justice, found a new avenue for her advocacy in the formation of the United Nations, UN. This chapter explores Eleanor's significant contributions to the UN and her instrumental role in the creation of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, marking a pivotal moment in her journey as a champion for global humanity. In 1945, the United Nations was established, aimed at fostering international cooperation and ensuring peace. Eleanor Roosevelt was appointed as a delegate to the UN by President Harry S. Truman, a role that would leverage her diplomatic skills and her unwavering commitment to human rights. Eleanor viewed this opportunity not just as an honor, but as a profound responsibility. She stepped into the UN with the vision of building a world where respect for human rights and fundamental freedoms was universal. Eleanor's most significant contribution came when she was appointed chair of the UN Commission on Human Rights. In this role, she was tasked with leading the drafting of an international declaration 
that would outline the basic rights to which every human being is inherently entitled. The task was daunting. It required reconciling different legal systems, cultural practices, and political ideologies. However, Eleanor approached this challenge with her characteristic determination and diplomacy. Under Eleanor's guidance, the Commission embarked on the creation of what would become the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. Eleanor's leadership style was inclusive. She encouraged dialogue, sought consensus, and was adept at navigating complex negotiations. Her ability to connect with people, understand their perspectives, and find common ground was instrumental in bridging differences among the delegates. The drafting process was intense and fraught with challenges. There were debates over language, principles, and the scope of rights to be included. Eleanor, with her deep sense of justice and empathy, played a critical role in these discussions. She advocated for rights that were universal, applicable to everyone, everywhere, regardless of race, gender, religion, or nationality. Her vision was for a declaration that not only articulated a set of rights, but also inspired nations to uphold these principles. After months of hard work and relentless diplomacy, the Universal Declaration of Human Rights was adopted by the General Assembly on December 10, 1948. This historic document set out, for the first time, fundamental human rights to be universally protected. It was a monumental achievement, and Eleanor Roosevelt's role in its creation was a testament to her leadership and her dedication to the cause of human rights. Eleanor's work on the Universal Declaration of Human Rights is considered one of her greatest legacies. The Declaration has become a cornerstone of international human rights law and continues to influence the global discourse on human rights. Eleanor's belief in the dignity and worth of every individual was embodied in the document, and her efforts laid the foundation for the ongoing struggle for human rights around the world. Through her work at the United Nations and her involvement in the creation of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, Eleanor Roosevelt demonstrated that one person's dedication and effort could have a profound impact on the world. Her commitment to global peace and justice, coupled with her diplomatic skills and moral conviction, contributed to shaping a post-war world where the rights and freedoms of individuals are recognized and protected. Eleanor's legacy at the UN is a reminder of the importance of international cooperation and the need to stand up for what is right. Her work continues to inspire those who fight for human rights, peace and justice, proving that with perseverance and compassion, it is possible to make a lasting difference in the world. The Universal Declaration of Human Rights stands as a beacon of hope and a guide for future generations, embodying Eleanor Roosevelt's vision of a world where every person is valued and respected. Chapter 10. Travels and Tribulations After her significant contributions at the United Nations and her instrumental role in the creation of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, Eleanor Roosevelt embarked on a new chapter of her life. She became a world traveler, acting as a diplomat and humanitarian. Her journeys took her across continents, where she faced numerous challenges and gained valuable insights. This chapter delves into Eleanor's travels, the tribulations she encountered, and how these experiences enriched her perspective and advocacy. Eleanor's travels were not mere diplomatic formalities. They were missions driven by her deep commitment to understanding the human condition around the globe. She ventured into countries emerging from the shadows of war, visited newly independent nations grappling with democracy, 
and met with people whose lives were marked by poverty and injustice. Each journey was an opportunity to listen, learn, and later share these experiences with the American public and the world. One of Eleanor's most notable trips was her visit to the newly established State of Israel. Witnessing the birth of a nation carved out of conflict and hope, she met with leaders, refugees and citizens, listening to their stories of survival and resilience. Her visit underscored the importance of supporting fledgling democracies and the right of people to self-determination. In the post-war period, Europe was a continent of recovery and rebuilding, Eleanor's travels there brought her face to face with the devastation left by the war. She visited schools, hospitals, and refugee camps, offering her support and drawing attention to the needs of war-torn communities. Her observations and conversations with everyday Europeans reinforced her belief in the Marshall Plan and the need for American assistance in Europe's recovery. Eleanor's commitment to civil rights took her to the Asia-Pacific region, where she confronted the realities of colonial rule and racial discrimination. In countries like Australia and Japan, she advocated for racial equality and human dignity, challenging both local practices and American policies abroad. Her meetings with leaders, activists, and marginalized communities highlighted the global struggle for civil rights and the interconnectedness of freedom movements around the world. One of the greatest challenges Eleanor faced during her travels was the Cold War's mounting tensions. In a divided world, her message of peace and cooperation was more critical than ever. Her visits to the Soviet Union and meetings with its leaders were attempts to bridge the vast ideological divide between the East and the West. Despite the suspicion and hostility of the era, Eleanor sought common ground, believing in the potential for dialogue to ease tensions and foster mutual understanding. Throughout her travels, Eleanor encountered not only the challenges of international diplomacy, but also the personal tribulations of navigating unfamiliar cultures and sometimes hostile political environments. Yet, she remained undeterred, driven by a desire to make a difference. Her tireless efforts to promote human rights, peace, and justice were grounded in a profound empathy for people of all nations. Eleanor's travels enriched her worldview and informed her advocacy. Upon returning to the United States, she shared her experiences through writings, speeches, and radio broadcasts. She brought stories of hope and hardship to the American public, urging them to look beyond their borders and recognize their shared humanity with people around the world. Eleanor Roosevelt's role as a global traveler and diplomat was an extension of her lifelong commitment to improving the human condition. Facing challenges and tribulations with courage and compassion, she used her insights to advocate for a better world. Her journeys underscored the importance of understanding, empathy, and cooperation in addressing global issues. The legacy of Eleanor Roosevelt's travels is a testament to the impact one individual can have on the world stage. Her efforts to promote human rights, support emerging democracies, and foster international dialogue, continue to inspire those who seek to make a difference in the world. Eleanor's travels and tribulations remind us of the power of empathy and the importance of standing up for justice, peace, and equality, no matter where the journey takes us. Chapter 11. A Pen As Mighty As Her Spirit Eleanor Roosevelt's voice reached far beyond the speeches she delivered or the diplomatic meetings she attended. It found a powerful outlet through her writing. As a writer and journalist, Eleanor used her pen with the same passion and determination that characterized her public life.
This chapter highlights Eleanor's remarkable career in journalism. Focusing on her famous newspaper column, My Day, and her unique ability to communicate complex issues in a manner accessible to all. Eleanor began writing My Day in 1935, a time when the role of women in the public sphere was still heavily debated. The column, which she wrote six days a week until shortly before her death in 1962, was a pioneering effort. It provided her with a platform to speak directly to the American people and the world about her views, experiences, and the issues she cared deeply about. Through my day, Eleanor discussed a wide range of topics, from the mundane aspects of her daily life to pressing national and international issues. She wrote about her travels, her meetings with world leaders, her advocacy for human rights, and her involvement in social causes. She also shared her thoughts on women's rights, civil rights, and the importance of democracy and civic responsibility. Eleanor's writing style in My Day was straightforward and personal. She spoke to her readers as if they were friends, sitting across the table from her, sharing a cup of coffee. This approachable style made complex issues more understandable and relatable. It also allowed her to build a strong connection with her readers, many of whom felt as though they knew her personally. Eleanor's column was not just a diary of her life. It was a tool for advocacy. She used it to raise awareness about the plight of the poor, the injustice of discrimination, and the importance of international cooperation. She also used it to support her husband, President Franklin D. Roosevelt, and his policies, providing insights into the motivations behind government actions and legislation. Beyond my day, Eleanor wrote numerous articles for magazines and newspapers, authored several books, and gave countless speeches and interviews. She was a prolific writer who used every opportunity to communicate her ideas and champion her causes. Her work as a journalist and author was an extension of her public service, a way to continue fighting for the values she believed in. Eleanor's career as a writer and journalist faced challenges, including criticism from those who disagreed with her views or who believed she should stay out of the public eye. However, she remained undeterred, convinced of the power of words to inspire change and the importance of using her voice for good. Eleanor Roosevelt's impact as a writer and journalist is immeasurable. Through her writings, she not only documented the history of her time, but also shaped the discourse on key issues. She provided a model for using journalism as a means of social activism, demonstrating how the pen could be as mighty as any speech or diplomatic initiative. A pen as mighty as her spirit captures the essence of Eleanor Roosevelt's contribution to journalism. Her ability to communicate complex issues in an accessible manner, coupled with her unwavering commitment to advocating for change, made her one of the most influential writers of her time. Through her words, she reached across divides, touched hearts and minds, and left a lasting legacy that continues to inspire those who believe in the power of writing to change the world. Chapter 12 Advocacy in the Cold War Era The Cold War era was a time of intense global tension, marked by ideological battles between democracy and communism. In the United States, this period was also characterized by fear and suspicion, leading to a crackdown on perceived threats within the country. Amidst this backdrop, Eleanor Roosevelt continued her unwavering commitment to advocacy, particularly focusing on civil liberties and her opposition to McCarthyism. This chapter delves into Eleanor's activism during these turbulent times. As the Cold War intensified, so did the domestic atmosphere of fear in the United States. 
Senator Joseph McCarthy and others led efforts to root out alleged communists and sympathizers from government positions, the entertainment industry, and other sectors of American life. This period, known as McCarthyism, saw many individuals unfairly accused, careers ruined, and freedoms threatened under the guise of national security. Eleanor Roosevelt, ever the defender of democracy and human rights, was deeply troubled by these developments. She recognized the danger that such unfounded accusations and violations of civil liberties posed to the very fabric of American democracy. Eleanor used her platform, including her My Day column, speeches, and public appearances, to speak out against the excesses of McCarthyism. Her opposition was not just a matter of principle. Eleanor had personal stakes in the fight, as friends and colleagues were targeted by anti-communist investigations. She saw firsthand the damage caused by fear-mongering and the erosion of trust within the community. Eleanor argued that true patriotism meant upholding the values of justice and freedom, even, or especially, in times of fear. Eleanor's stance on civil liberties during the Cold War extended beyond her opposition to McCarthyism. She was a vocal advocate for the rights of all individuals, regardless of their political beliefs or affiliations. She believed in the power of dialogue and understanding to bridge ideological divides and saw the suppression of dissenting voices as a threat to democracy itself. One of Eleanor's significant contributions during this time was her continued work with the United Nations. She viewed the international organization as a vital tool for promoting peace and understanding between nations. Eleanor believed that by fostering cooperation and dialogue at the international level, it was possible to reduce tensions and build a more stable and peaceful world. Eleanor's advocacy in the Cold War era was not without its challenges. She faced criticism and backlash for her positions, accused by some of being naive or even unpatriotic. However, Eleanor remained steadfast in her beliefs. She understood the importance of standing up for what was right, even in the face of opposition. Eleanor Roosevelt's activism during the Cold War era serves as a powerful example of principled leadership. Her defense of civil liberties, opposition to McCarthyism, and commitment to international cooperation illustrate her deep belief in the values of democracy and human rights. Through her actions and words, Eleanor demonstrated that it is possible to confront fear with courage and to seek understanding amidst division. Eleanor's legacy from this period is a reminder of the importance of vigilance in defending democratic values. Her work underscores the idea that the true strength of a nation lies in its commitment to justice, freedom, and the rule of law. By advocating for these principles during one of the most challenging periods of the 20th century, Eleanor Roosevelt helped to shape a vision of America that was inclusive, just, and open to the world. As we reflect on Eleanor's activism during the Cold War era, we are reminded of the enduring relevance of her message. Her example teaches us that in times of fear and uncertainty, the defense of civil liberties and the pursuit of peace are more important than ever. Eleanor's life and work during this period continue to inspire those who believe in the power of advocacy and the possibility of a better world. Chapter 13 Legacy of Leadership In the later years of her life, Eleanor Roosevelt continued to shape the course of American politics and advocate for human rights, leaving behind a legacy of leadership that still resonates today. This chapter focuses on Eleanor's enduring influence, her tireless efforts in the realm of human rights, and her role as a mentor 
to the next generation of leaders. Even after leaving the White House, Eleanor remained deeply involved in politics and public service. She used her platform to speak out on issues close to her heart, such as racial equality, women's rights, and the plight of the poor. Her voice, respected and recognized around the world, carried weight in the discussions and decisions that shaped the mid-20th century. Eleanor's commitment to human rights never wavered. She saw the Universal Declaration of Human Rights not as the culmination of her work, but as a beginning. Throughout the Cold War era, she advocated for the principles enshrined in the Declaration, arguing that freedom, justice, and peace were not just American ideals, but universal ones. Her stance on civil liberties made her a critical voice in times of political hysteria, including the era of McCarthyism. She defended those accused of un-American activities, emphasizing the importance of due process and the protection of individual rights. As the world entered the tumultuous years of the Cold War, Eleanor's experience and wisdom made her a valuable advisor to leaders at home and abroad. She continued to engage with the United Nations and other international bodies, pushing for the United States to play a leading role in promoting global peace and cooperation. Her advocacy for the UN and its missions underscored her belief in the power of international diplomacy to resolve conflicts and foster understanding among nations. Eleanor's influence extended beyond the public sphere into the personal mentorship of future leaders. She believed strongly in the power of education and the importance of nurturing young minds. Through her writings, lectures and personal interactions, she inspired a generation of activists and politicians. Her guidance was sought by many, from civil rights leaders to aspiring public servants. Eleanor's ability to connect with people, listen to their concerns, and offer sage advice made her a beloved figure to those who followed in her footsteps. Her later years were marked by a series of awards and honors that recognized her contributions to society. Yet, for Eleanor, these accolades were not a measure of her success. Instead, she valued the progress made in the fight for justice and equality, the lives touched by her advocacy, and the continued struggle for a better world. Eleanor Roosevelt passed away on November 7, 1962, but her legacy of leadership endures. She redefined the role of a First Lady, showing that it could be a platform for significant societal change. Her work in the field of human rights laid the groundwork for future advances in that arena, and her example as a leader who led with empathy, intelligence, and unwavering dedication continues to inspire. Eleanor's life reminds us of the impact one individual can have in shaping the course of history. Her leadership style, characterized by humility, perseverance, and a deep commitment to human dignity, serves as a model for future generations. Through her example, Eleanor Roosevelt teaches us that leadership is not about wielding power but about empowering others, standing up for what is right, and working tirelessly to make the world a more just and compassionate place. The legacy of Eleanor Roosevelt is a beacon for those who seek to lead with integrity and purpose. Her life's work demonstrates that with passion, dedication, and a willingness to speak out for the voiceless, it is possible to leave an indelible mark on the world. As we reflect on her contributions, we are reminded of the ongoing relevance of her vision for a society rooted in equality, freedom, and human rights. Eleanor Roosevelt's legacy of leadership is not just a chapter in history, but a continuing source of inspiration for all who aspire to make a difference in the world. Chapter 14 Personal Losses and Strength 
In her later years, Eleanor Roosevelt faced personal challenges and losses that tested her strength and resilience. Among the most significant was the death of her husband, Franklin D. Roosevelt. This chapter explores how Eleanor coped with her personal losses and how she continued her public service, demonstrating remarkable fortitude and dedication to her causes. Franklin D. Roosevelt passed away on April 12, 1945, while serving his fourth term as President of the United States. His death was a profound shock to the nation and a devastating personal loss for Eleanor. Despite her deep grief, Eleanor showed remarkable strength in the face of this tragedy. She quickly took on the responsibility of informing their children and making arrangements for the funeral. Her composure and dignity during this difficult time were widely admired. Eleanor's role had been deeply intertwined with Franklin's political career, and his death marked the end of an era for her personally and publicly. However, instead of retreating from the world stage, Eleanor found new ways to channel her energy and continue their shared legacy of public service. She turned her grief into action, dedicating herself even more fervently to the causes they had both championed. In the years following Franklin's death, Eleanor faced additional personal challenges. She navigated the complexities of life as a widow and dealt with the pressures of being a public figure in her own right. She also experienced the loss of friends and family members, each loss a reminder of the fragility of life and the importance of cherishing the time we have with loved ones. Despite these personal trials, Eleanor's commitment to public service never wavered. She remained actively involved in politics, championing civil rights, women's rights, and social justice causes. Her work with the United Nations, particularly her role in drafting the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, showcased her enduring dedication to fostering global peace and equality. Eleanor's ability to cope with personal losses and continue her public service was rooted in her deep sense of duty and her belief in the power of individual action to effect change. She once said, You must do the thing you think you cannot do. This philosophy guided her through the darkest times, allowing her to transform personal sorrow into a force for good. Her resilience in the face of personal adversity inspired those around her. Eleanor became a symbol of strength and perseverance, demonstrating that it is possible to overcome personal challenges and continue to make a meaningful impact on the world. Eleanor's approach to dealing with loss and adversity was characterized by her forward-looking attitude. She did not dwell on her sorrows, but focused on the future and on the work that still needed to be done. This mindset enabled her to maintain her momentum in public service and to keep advocating for the causes she believed in passionately. The later years of Eleanor Roosevelt's life were marked by both personal losses and remarkable achievements. Her strength in the face of adversity, her unwavering commitment to public service, and her ability to continue advocating for her causes despite personal challenges were testaments to her extraordinary character. Eleanor's legacy is not just one of political and social achievements, but also of personal resilience and strength. She showed the world that it is possible to face the most challenging circumstances with grace and determination, and that even in times of personal sorrow, one can contribute positively to the world. Through her example, Eleanor Roosevelt left an indelible mark on history not only as a public figure, but as a person who faced life's challenges with courage and who used her experiences to enrich her advocacy for a better world. Her story of personal losses and strength continues to inspire those who face their own challenges, reminding us of the power of resilience and the impact one person can have in making the world a more just and compassionate place. 
Chapter 15 The Wisdom of Eleanor Roosevelt Eleanor Roosevelt, through her life's work and her profound words, left behind a legacy of wisdom that continues to inspire generations. This chapter compiles some of her most impactful insights, quotes, and life lessons, reflecting on the philosophy and wisdom she shared with the world. Eleanor's words encapsulate her beliefs, her approach to life's challenges, and her vision for a better world. On Courage and Fear Eleanor Roosevelt famously said, You gain strength, courage, and confidence by every experience in which you really stop to look fear in the face. You must do the thing you think you cannot do. This quote embodies Eleanor's approach to life's challenges. She believed in facing fears head-on, understanding that overcoming obstacles builds strength and confidence. On happiness and purpose. Eleanor believed that happiness was not a goal to be achieved, but a byproduct of a life well lived. Happiness is not a goal, it is a byproduct of a life well lived, she remarked. Her philosophy highlighted the importance of finding purpose and fulfillment in serving others and advocating for causes greater than oneself. On Human Rights and Justice A staunch advocate for human rights, Eleanor stated, Where, after all, do universal human rights begin? In small places, close to home, so close and so small that they cannot be seen on any maps of the world. This insight emphasizes the idea that the fight for justice and equality starts in our communities and everyday actions. On learning and growth. Eleanor valued the continuous pursuit of knowledge and personal growth. One's philosophy is not best expressed in words. It is expressed in the choices one makes. In the long run, we shape our lives and we shape ourselves. The process never ends until we die. And the choices we make are ultimately our responsibility. This perspective encourages us to be mindful of our choices and to embrace lifelong learning and self-improvement. On Leadership and Influence Understanding the complexities of leadership, Eleanor noted, It is not fair to ask of others what you are not willing to do yourself. This principle highlights her belief in leading by example and the importance of integrity and accountability in leadership roles. On Women's Rights and Equality A champion for women's rights, Eleanor argued for equality and the empowerment of women. No one can make you feel inferior without your consent. This powerful statement serves as a reminder of the strength and dignity inherent in every individual, urging women to claim their space and rights in society. On Social Responsibility and Activism Eleanor's activism was driven by a deep sense of social responsibility. She once said, It is better to light a candle than curse the darkness. This metaphorical advice inspires us to take action and contribute positively to society rather than merely criticizing the status quo. On love and humanity, Eleanor's views on love and relationships were profound. The giving of love is an education in itself. She believed that love teaches empathy, understanding and kindness essential qualities for fostering a compassionate society. Reflections on her philosophy and wisdom. Eleanor Roosevelt's wisdom transcends time, offering guidance and inspiration to those who seek to make a difference in the world. Her life lessons encourage us to face fears with courage, to live with purpose, to stand up for justice and equality, and to approach life with a generous heart. Eleanor's insights remind us of the power of individual action and the importance of compassion, empathy, and understanding in our interactions with others. 
Her legacy challenges us to reflect on our values, to embrace personal growth, and to contribute to the greater good. In compiling the wisdom of Eleanor Roosevelt, we find a roadmap for living a life marked by courage, purpose, and a commitment to improving the world around us. Her words continue to resonate, urging us to strive for a better future and to remember that change starts with the choices we make each day. Through her wisdom, Eleanor Roosevelt lights a path for us to follow, inspiring us to lead lives of significance and service. Chapter 16 Remembering Eleanor the passing of Eleanor Roosevelt on November 7, 1962, marked the end of an era. Her death was not just a loss to her family and friends, but to the world. This chapter reflects on the immediate aftermath of Eleanor Roosevelt's death, the public and private reactions to her passing, the memorials that celebrated her life, and the legacy she left behind. News of Eleanor's death spread quickly touching hearts across the globe. People from all walks of life felt a deep sense of loss. Many had never met her, yet they felt as though they had lost a friend. Leaders from around the world sent condolences, recognizing her contributions to human rights, peace, and social justice. The public outpouring of grief underscored the profound impact Eleanor had on individuals and societies worldwide. In the United States, flags were lowered to half-staff, and thousands lined up to pay their respects as she lay in repose at Val Kill, her beloved home in Hyde Park, New York. The funeral service was attended by many dignitaries, including presidents, heads of state, and representatives of the numerous organizations she had worked with. The service was a testament to her wide-reaching influence and the diverse causes she championed. Eleanor Roosevelt was laid to rest next to her husband, Franklin D. Roosevelt, in the Rose Garden at their estate. The simple ceremony reflected her modesty and her belief in the value of service over personal accolades. Her gravesite soon became a place of pilgrimage for those who admired her and wished to honor her legacy. In the days and years following her death, numerous memorials and tributes were established in Eleanor's honor. Schools, libraries, and awards were named after her, and her birthplace in New York City was designated a historic site. These memorials serve as enduring reminders of her contributions and the ideals she stood for. Private reactions to Eleanor's death were marked by personal reflections on her kindness, her guidance, and the inspiration she provided. Friends and family members shared stories of her warmth, her wisdom, and her unwavering support. These personal anecdotes add a depth to the public image of Eleanor Roosevelt, revealing the complexity of her character and the impact she had on those who knew her personally. Eleanor Roosevelt's legacy is vast and varied. She redefined the role of the First Lady, using her position to advocate for change and to give voice to the voiceless. Her work with the United Nations and her role in drafting the Universal Declaration of Human Rights cemented her place as a champion of human rights. Her writings and speeches continue to inspire those who advocate for social justice, equality, and peace. Reflecting on Eleanor Roosevelt's death and the immediate aftermath, it is clear that her influence did not end with her passing. Instead, her ideals and her vision for a better world continue to resonate. The memorials established in her honor and the personal stories shared by those who knew her keep her memory alive, ensuring that her contributions to society and her wisdom are not forgotten. Eleanor Roosevelt once said, 
the future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. Her life was a testament to this belief. She dared to dream of a world where justice and equality prevailed, and she worked tirelessly to make that dream a reality. Remembering Eleanor is not just about looking back on her achievements. It's about carrying forward her commitment to making the world a better place for all. As we reflect on Eleanor Roosevelt's legacy, we are reminded of the power of individual action and the impact one person can have on the world. Her life challenges us to pursue our ideals with courage and determination, to speak out against injustice, and to work towards a future where the rights and dignity of every person are respected. Remembering Eleanor means continuing her fight for a world of peace, justice and equality, a fitting tribute to a remarkable woman whose wisdom and legacy continue to inspire generations. Chapter 17 The Eternal Influence of Eleanor Roosevelt Eleanor Roosevelt's legacy is a testament to her profound impact on American society and the world. Her life's work reshaped the role of women in politics and public life and left an enduring mark on human rights advocacy. This chapter summarizes the lasting influence of Eleanor Roosevelt, a woman whose vision, courage and dedication to justice transcended her time and continue to inspire future generations. Eleanor revolutionized the role of the First Lady transforming it from a largely ceremonial position into one of active engagement and advocacy. She used her public platform to champion causes close to her heart, such as civil rights, women's rights, and the plight of the poor. Her approach was groundbreaking, setting a precedent for future first ladies and women in politics to use their influence to effect change. Beyond the confines of the White House, Eleanor's impact on the role of women in public life was significant. She showed that women could be powerful agents of change, advocating for social justice and human rights on a global scale. Her leadership in drafting the Universal Declaration of Human Rights is a prime example of her ability to influence world affairs and contribute to the establishment of international norms and standards. Eleanor's advocacy for human rights and social justice did not end with her tenure as First Lady. Through her writings, speeches, and public engagements, she continued to inspire and mobilize people around the causes she believed in. Her tireless efforts in support of the United Nations and its human rights agenda underscored her belief in the importance of international cooperation to address global challenges. Eleanor Roosevelt's influence extends far beyond her lifetime. Her vision for a more just and compassionate world has inspired countless individuals to take up the mantle of activism and advocacy. Nonprofit organizations, public policies, and educational programs that focus on human rights and social justice are part of her legacy. Her example has encouraged people to strive for equality, to speak out against injustice and to work towards the betterment of society. One of Eleanor's most enduring contributions is the example she set as a person of conviction and compassion. She demonstrated that leadership is not just about holding power, but about empowering others. Her life challenges us to consider our responsibilities to our communities and to the world urging us to take action on behalf of those who are marginalized and oppressed. Eleanor Roosevelt's words and deeds continue to resonate today, serving as a guiding light for those committed to making a difference. Her belief in the dignity and worth of every individual, her advocacy for peace and justice, and her unwavering dedication to service are as relevant now as they were during her lifetime. The eternal influence of Eleanor Roosevelt is felt not only in the specific causes she championed,
but also in her broader vision for society. She envisioned a world where people, regardless of their background or circumstances, have the opportunity to live fulfilling lives free from fear and want. This vision remains a source of inspiration for all who seek to build a more equitable and compassionate world. As we reflect on Eleanor Roosevelt's lasting impact, we are reminded of the power of individual action and the importance of standing up for our beliefs. Her life teaches us that with courage, determination, and a commitment to justice, it is possible to change the world. Eleanor Roosevelt's legacy challenges us to continue her work, to advocate for human rights, to empower the marginalized, and to strive for a society that reflects the best of our shared humanity. Eleanor Roosevelt's eternal influence is a testament to her extraordinary life and the ideals she championed. Her contributions to American society and the world have left an indelible mark on history, inspiring generations to pursue justice, equality, and peace. As we move forward, Eleanor's example encourages us to imagine a better world and to work tirelessly to make that vision a reality.